right now, what I'm happy about is their effort. Uh, they're doing a tremendous job of sharing the basketball, and uh, defensively, we've really picked it up a notch. The NMU men's basketball team turned quite a few heads in their first two conference games, winning both contests on the road in Ohio. Good evening, everyone. Bill Saul's team was picked to finish dead last in the GLIAC North Division in the preseason poll. On the opening weekend of conference play, the Wildcats came away with two road wins at Walsh and at Malone. NMU is one of five teams in the GLIAC currently without a loss in the conference standings. A year ago, the Wildcats were in the very early stages of rebuilding this team. Now, the rebuilding effort put forth by Coach Saul and his staff has started to show on the floor and, more importantly, in the basketball standings. Well, the talent level's improved, that's for sure. Um, along with that, it's just the buy-in. Again, if you remember last year, we had hardly anyone that even played a GLIAC game, much less a Division II basketball game. So we have some veterans back, although it's only their second year of playing. And then the crop of freshmen have really come in, and I think just given an added amount of enthusiasm and just energy, and uh, you know, we've lived off a lot of that. Every year is getting better and better. People are starting to understand their roles and understanding what coach wants out of us every day, night in and night out. So. We're just working hard again and playing as a team and getting getting an understanding of um, what it takes to compete in the GLIAC. We don't really have a go-to guy. We haven't had a go-to guy since we started basketball in September, and uh, it's working well for us because they really can't they really can't focus on one person because we're all getting buckets and we're all we're all playing well. To build off Brandstrom's last quote, NMU had five different guys score in double figures Saturday against Malone. Later this week, the Wildcats welcomed Finley to town Saturday for 3 p.m. tip-off.